since it money is on our minds tonight, the holiday season is long gone, but some people are playing catch up with paying all of that credit card debt down. Joining us now in the studio is certified public accountant Ed Gardner. So, Ed, first of all, let's look at what we did. Should we have spent money for the holidays on credit cards if we did not have to. Remember during the pandemic, many people had lots of savings that they had saved up because they weren't going out as much, only doing home improvements. Right. But they had those savings that were available. Should we have been spending the credit cards for the holidays and down the road, should we do that, first of all? Well, I don't think people should do it down the road. In fact, Isaiah, for down the road, a lot of us waste $10 a week. And if you start putting away $10 a week now, by the time Christmas came with your shopping, you'll have $450 plus dollars. So next year, you can actually pay cash. That old Christmas savings account. The old savings. Uh -huh. But you know, a lot of people got in the spirit of uh, buying stuff because they wanted to give to the family and friends. And unfortunately, when we go out shopping, we don't always spend our money wisely. But right now, for people who have credit card debt, the first thing they need to do is make a list where they have, who they owe, what the interest rate is. Then they might consider calling to the credit card companies to see possibly if they can lower the interest rate. You'll be surprised how many times people will be able to get the rates lowered. And then there's several methods that they could do in paying it off, but before they start paying it off, they, they need to look at setting up a budget mm -hmm. to see where they're spending their money. And you know, a lot of times we have subscriptions that we subscribe to a lot of things and we really don't use them. And then we go out and we spend money a lot of times, we got to stop the bleeding. Right now, if people want to get out of credit card debt, they need to not go out and have more debt with credit cards. Because a lot of time people spend money to impress other people. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that we help our family, we help ourselves by paying off our credit card debt. So there are a couple methods that people can use. One's called the avalanche method. And what happens is we take the highest interest rate and we start paying that off first. Then there's an, another method called the snowball method, where maybe you have a smaller debt that you have, maybe a couple hundred on a card. It may not be the highest interest rate, but go ahead and pay extra and pay that one off first. Because you know when someone goes to l reduce their weight, they feel good when they uh, lose the first five, 10 pounds. So the same way, if you start paying off your credit card, then you start feeling better. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's a method called the blizzard where you pay the highest and the lowest at the same time. But where you pay the minimum payment, maybe start doubling the minimum payment. You'll be surprised, a $5,000 on a credit card at about 18%, if you pay the minimum, you're gonna end up paying about another 5,000 in interest. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, maybe cut back on some things. I have one client recently, <laughs> <coughs> that uh, went out to a coffee shop and they bought every day coffee. Mm -hmm. And I had them stop doing it, make it at home. They saved over $150 a month. Wow. wow. So it's important to look at it, the different things that you do. And again, don't buy just to impress other people. And another important thing is you have to set a savings. You have to save an emergency fund. So at the same time, save first before you spend. Absolutely. And Ed, you know, what it, it took for me to actually go and look at the credit card, look at the details of the bill, and then you see what percentage of your minimum payment or your monthly payment is going to the principal amount and, the, and what's going to interest. And you're like, what the hell is going on here? Right. And so it will make you adjust and either pay more or demand a lower interest rate. And at the same way, there are sometimes specials that you could have with credit cards where you consolidate them, and maybe for a period of time you pay no interest. Mm -hmm. But you need to read the fine print because sometimes if you don't pay it by a certain time, you have a balloon interest payment. Can't win for losing. Ed Gardner, always thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Sensit with your expertise. Get us out of the hole, Ed. Get us out of the hole.